In this video, we're going to look at modeling gas behavior, specifically the hard sphere model for a gas. And to do this, we're going to look at a simulation from an application called Atoms in Motion. This is a nice iPad app that you can get for free, and it allows you to explore the relationship between the number of particles, the temperature, and the pressure, and the volume for a gas. And the way the simulation works is that it actually simulates the trajectories and velocities of these gas particles as they move around the box and hit the sides of the walls to calculate the pressure. So for, in our case, we want to look at the difference between two extremes for a gas simulation. One is when the volume is very, very large. And so what we're going to do is zoom out here. And so I've made the box now much, much bigger. And now you can see the gas particles starting to explore that volume. And you can see that the total volume is very large compared to the size of the gas particles. That is, most of the volume is empty space, and a tiny bit of it is now occupied by these little particles. And I've stopped the particles to sort of emphasize that. We can see a big volume, but only a few teeny tiny little red dots. Now, if I make the box much smaller here, I'm going to compress the box, and so I go from 5 nanometer scale bar to 2 to 1, down to a half a nanometer, 0.2 nanometers, and now the box is much, much smaller. And when the box is much, much smaller, now the gas occupies a huge fraction of the volume. And you can see the particles are slamming into each other all the time. So here I've stopped it, and we can compare now the total volume to the volume occupied by the gas, and we can see that of the volume, no small fraction of it is actually occupied by the gas itself. We can take this into account in our modeling by changing the volume that we look at. So instead of looking at the total volume, we'll look at essentially the space between the molecules. That is the volume minus the space occupied by the gas. That depends on the number of moles n and how big the molecules are, which is covered by this constant b. Large molecules would have a large B constant. Small molecules would have a small B constant. Now, there are two situations to think about this. One is our situation where we have very low pressures. So if we go back to low pressures, what we see is that the molecules are really far apart. And in this case, they're essentially very tiny. And that's because they occupy an incredibly small volume. So that is V is very large compared to NB. And in this case, that little NB correction doesn't matter. And we go back simply to the ideal gas equation. So at low pressures, the ideal gas equation works beautifully. On the other hand, if we go to high pressures, where the molecules get close together, they're effectively taking up much more of the volume now. So now, to get a better prediction of the real gas behavior, we need to correct the volume for the space occupied by the gas.